Boundary Forever Ago. Boundary are a Northern Irish brewery based in Belfast, and this is Forever Ago, their New England IPA at 6%. This is the first beer I've ever had from Boundary. They've always sort of caught my eye. They've had lovely kind of like pastel artwork cans look great. And the thing that I always remember about Boundary, if I've ever picked up a can or anything, is what it says on the back. Boundary is a cooperative brewery owned by its members. That's really cool. I really respect that. I like the John Lewis <laughs> of craft beer. Details wise, doesn't mention any hops, just says I'll take on a New England IPA. Murky, hazy, low bitterness and absolutely delicious. I'm pretty excited for this etching. Boundary one of those breweries I've always meant to try but just kind of ended up passing up on for no real reason other than just other things caught my eye more. This came in a Patrons Project box from Northern Monk and I'm really glad about it. Right, no kidding on the Merc. Uh, that is pretty, pretty turbid looking. Really lovely Tropicana orange colour. Small white head that looks like it's going to disappear fairly quick. That smells fucking stunning. Wow. So massively juicy. Juicy is a word that's overused, but this is this is the definition of juicy. Loads of pale stone fruit, peaches and nectarines. Kind of invokes almost like that sweet uh, sort of like trop tin tropical fruit thing. Lovely. There's something kind of a little bit perfumed and floral about it as well, hanging around underneath. That smells like a stunner. Cheers. That's really, really nice, but interesting. On the flavour, it's real kind of um, apricotty and almost like a dry, like dried citrus fruits, like dried orange, kind of real zesty, rindy flavour. And that perfumedy, florally notice. Hanging around loads at the back of this beer. Strange, but interesting, and I like it. Uh, it's different to, it's good to have a, an IPA or a New England IPA that tastes a bit different. As they say, really low bitterness. I would say no bitterness. I can't, there's nothing discernibly bitter about this beer. It could do with a bit of bitterness. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying it needs to be a face melter, but it's just lacking a bit of, uh, of finish, somewhat. It sort of dies on its ass on the back end. But mouth, mouth feels fucking great, carbonation is spot on. For a 6% New England IPA, it does exactly what most people, I think, will want from, from that style. Interesting the difference between the aroma and the flavour though. But yeah, it's definitely a good first visit for me from Boundary. I reckon they probably have better to offer than this, but as my first can of their beer, it's pretty damn good. And I've got a double IPA of theirs to get onto at some point, so expect to see that soon. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,